High Rise Soldier off the inside. They're racing. Away they go. And Folds was just half a stride slow. The favourite seizing the moment is going to settle back in the last two or three. And Wood on Fire is being chased up early, but he's four deep into the first turn with War of Courage. And then came High Rise Soldier and Run Run Cool right there. Decisive 12. He's caught deep. There's only five lengths from top end to tail here. They're in turn followed by Folds and then came seizing the moment racing fighter. Next is Royal Bomb and Storm Warnings as last as they top the rise 2409 they haven't gone hard in the early section and it is war of courage with decisive 12 he's been caught in no man's land three deep up on the pace now pressing forward to lead out right followed by wood on fire third down on the inside is high rise soldier folds is having a tough run again three deep around run run cool seizing the moment travels okay looking to get into the clear then came storm warnings royal bomb and racing fighter they quicken up now at the 250 it's decisive 12 on the outside who's taken the lead here followed by war of courage high ride soldier out wide a run run call from seizing the moment decisive 12 a neck in advance on high rise soldier who's claimed him now and high rise soldiers going on to score from decisive 12 third maybe seizing the moment who got going late in the piece and so then down on the inside was War of Courage in that photo finish as well. Close up, run, run, cool, storm warnings. Next in Royal Bomb Racing, fighter folds and wood on fire. Funny old race that. They were well outside standard for that first section. Over 24 in standards, 23.55. They were four deep into the first turn up on the speed. Decisive 12 pressed forward after being caught wide. And in the end, High Rise Soldier has prevailed here. A pickup ride for Zach Purton. Decisive for 12. I think on the outside, just missed there on shutter cam, but I think season the moment might have got up to run third to a collar. War of Courage shut down on the inside there, but this is his second win at start 31 today. A little bit and just made him work that little bit extra. Anyway, he's uh, he's still running a decent enough race. So there's the start. High Rise Soldier just wanted to lug up the track a little bit as War of Courage goes forward. Now keep an eye on the orange cap because High Rise Soldier will just make them all work. War of Courage three wide first turn. Wood on fire four wide. Run run cool red jacket. Decisive twelves five wide going down the back. From Folds in the light blue. Racing fighter the grey seizing the moment. Royal Bomb and Storm Warnings, the last couple here, Paul, and they're still stretched across the track, and High Rise Soldier, it's just got those legs there, making more of Courage work that extra bit harder. Yeah, and the Gintz, he of 12, he finally managed to get across, didn't he? And when he got to the front, he couldn't even get to the rail there, but uh, he wasn't in a hurry, Vincent, but the horse ran on really, really nicely. I thought it was a good run from the top weight there. You can see Zach just poking uh, in, in, inside there in those black colours, the eventual winner. Run, run, cool was there for a long period, and went on fire, starting to drop out now. And Folds dropping off two in the light blue as Decisive Twelve's taken the lead now from War of Courage. High Rise Soldier, Run Run Cool, seizing the moments, looking for a little bit of room to get through, but he's not going well enough to threaten the winner if the run had have come earlier. And high